Welcome children. In today's session, we are going to learn about landforms. What are landforms and where do we find these landforms we are going to learn. So, in this lesson, we are first going to learn about the introduction of the lesson. So, as you can see on the screen, the land on which we live is not uniform in size, shape or height. So, as we know, we have ups and downs in our land. So, every land is not having the same height or same uh, shape or you no know, uh, size. So, here we will see that there are three main kinds of landforms. Those are mountains, plateaus and plains. What are mountains? Mountains. A mountain is a place on earth's surface that is much higher than the land around it. So, a mountain is a place on the earth's surface. It is very high than the land around uh, around the mountain. So, what is a plateau? A plateau is a flat area higher than the land around it. So, as you can see in the picture, you can see the plateau that the place around is very no low the mountain the uh, plateau is high yes children so coming to plains plains are the flat area on earth surface as you as we know that we grow crops on plains so this is the introduction of the lesson so we are going to learn in detail about these mountains plains and plateaus coming to mountains what are mountains mountains are very high and have steep slope with very little flat land on them. So, as you can see a mountain here, yes, it is a steep slope, yes children. This is the highest peak, this is the highest peak mountain which is called the Mount Everest, it is called Mount Everest. So, this mountain is named after the name of Sir George, Sir George. George. Everest. Yes, children. Because he is the first, he is the first person to measure the height of the mountain. He is the first person to measure the height of the mountain. That is the reason this mountain is the highest peak in the world and it is named after Sir George Everest. So, that is the reason it is called as Mount Everest. Okay, children. So, next. So, you can see some hills, plains and you know, uh, Himalayas, Vindhya mountains, no, these all mountains come in India. So, as you can see these, these are here you can see Himalayas to the north side. Yes, you can see Vindhya mountain to the west side. You can see Saptagiri. These are the mountains which are present in India. Okay, children. So, these are the main um, uh, things about these mountains. Now, going to plateaus. What are plateaus? Plateaus are also high lands, but they have more flat lands with some hills in between them. So, you can see the picture of a flat plateau. So, the land, it is high, again you have a land, again it is high, again you have a line. So, these are called, they have, uh, in between you find land. So, those are called plateaus. So, these plateaus you can find in India also. So, the Deccan Plateau is the largest plateau in the world in the uh, world and in the uh, state. So, you can see Deccan plateau here. So, it it is a uh, it is situated in uh, between uh, western Ghats and eastern Ghats. So, as we know the Deccan plateau, so Telangana also lies in Deccan plateau. The last portion of Telangana is covered by Deccan plateau. Yes, children. So, you can see a Deccan plateau in the middle of Western and Eastern Ghats. So, a large portion of Telangana is covered with Deccan Plateau. So, like this we have plateaus. We understood how what are plateaus which have you no know, flat lands with some hills and we have space between those hills. Now, coming to plains. What are plains? The plains on the other hand are level lands with gentle slopes. So, gentle slopes. We have gentle slopes. Yes. So, they are formed by the deposits uh, slit of 
great rivers. So, what we have learnt in the in the previous classes that when there is you know floods or when there is a flow of river. So, when there is heavy flow of river, the river carries split you no know, sand, mud. So, all this will be settled and deposited in a place called plains. So, in this area you find the soil very cultivated so that you can grow crops on plains. So, in this session we have learnt about different landforms those are mountains, plains and you know uh, plateaus yes children. So, in this session we are going to learn in uh, more detail thank you children thank you so much. Welcome children in today's session we are going to learn about landforms what are the different landforms we are going to learn. So, the land on which we live is not uniform in size shape or height. So, as we know we have ups and downs on our land. So, we have some lands which are different shapes, different size and different heights. Now, there are three main kinds of landforms. What are those? Mountains, plateaus and plains. So, what are mountains? A mountain is a place on earth's surface that is much higher than the land around it. So, the mountain is a place where you find it very high, it is very height, it is very height and the place around is very flat. Then what are plateaus? A plateau is a flat area higher than the land around it. So, it is a flat area, so the land around it is very you know, low. So, you can see the land is low and the height is more. So, these are called plateaus. Now, you can see plains. A plain is a flat area on the earth's surface. So, on plains we grow crops. So, this is the introduction of the lesson. What are we going to learn in this lesson? Now, we will go in detail what are mountains, plateaus and plains. Going to mountains. What are mountains? Mountains are very high and have steep slope with very little flat land on them. So, as you can see a mountain here, this is called the steep slope. So, the land we, we find very little land on mountains. So, this is the highest peak. What is the name of the highest peak in the world? Mount Everest. It is named as Mount Everest. So, why this name has come to this mountain? We will see why this name has come to this mountain because Sir George a person called by name Sir George, he was first person to measure the height of that mountain. So, that is the reason he has named, we have named uh, this mountain as the highest mountain.